Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. There's a triple threat match for the championship of Panama. My friend, it is main event time. And what a main event we have. Now this man and this match suits the title of this show to the fullest extent. Every man is making a sacrifice. Yes. The man coming to the ring stated to you earlier he is willing to give up every future title shot forever. Men's and women's. He was even throwing that out there. That's a little extreme, but okay, we'll work with that. You know, he was, like I said, he was willing to to he uh willing to give up every future title shot forever just to get one shot at Ed, Eddie Valentine and that championship of Valor. That's either brave or crazy and I think you've got to be a blend of both to, to make it this far in this business and that is Ed House. And I don't know about you but um are you going to tell Ed House he's crazy? No. And neither am I. No. <laughs> and this man coming to the ring. The legend. Making his return to Valor Pro. After being out since August. After he was told he could never return. Right. It's... It, it, he has a different look. He looks in better shape. Looks good. He's a little leaner. Uh, definitely a rehab the back. And to... And it's possible we can see the best he's ever met. Yeah. That's a scary proposition for, for others. He wasn't the longest reigning champion of Valor in 502 days, my friend, for nothing. For nothing. And it's like he stated earlier, one year ago tomorrow, he wrestled Prodigy. May he rest in paradise. And for this man, and all oh, destiny is in her holiday spirit. Indeed. Merry Christmas, Jason. Merry Christmas, Rob. <laughs> I don't know about you, brother. I don't think my wife would be a little ha would be too happy, but I wouldn't mind having that underneath my tree Christmas morning. Yeah, not at all. Any sane man wouldn't, because if they would, then I'd have to take them to the hospital to get them checked. Indeed. Um. Gosh, see that? Just makes you think all the Christmas classics, like the Grinch's 10 inches. <laughs> I, uh, I commend Eddie Valentine for being the champion that he's been since August, since winning that championship. He's been a fighting champion. Yes, he has. He has Every represented this company so well. Ever since he won that championship at uh, Prodigy Memorial Show, the PTV show. You're right, he has been a fighting champion. <laughs> Just feel the energy in this place. There's so much on the line. Ed House is not a happy man tonight. So much on the line. Wait a minute. What, wait, whoa, what is this? Hey, Here comes the magician. The magician. Wow, Ed House has got a lot of bravery for saying that right now. I just still can't believe it. Tiki Tap. 
Boo? This is amazing. Uh, and they've sacrificed Evan Nemo. That's his ticket to this to, to this match. And he's jumped in, and this changes the complexion of this match so much now because I I don't know how any of the three in there could possibly prepare. For and see, here's the scary thought. I just told you earlier. What if that man that was once Adrian Bliss? Is now Tiki Taboo, your champion of valor. Oh. That, hey, that must be the magician. That's the magician's master plan. I never spoke of such, but that, that would make sense. They're out to take this title. Take uh, over I, the company. Just, I don't know. I'm just still in shock that it's record. That was a man that was once our friend. Our compatriot, referee Eric Weiser, Some, is the, now the magician. Somebody who represented uh, law and order. Right. And, and he embodies and lawlessness. Now it's just such I a... Just, I can't believe everything he embodied in valor, honor, integrity, you know, forthright, whatever you want to call it, he's now on that flip side. <laughs> Tiki. I just Man, again, that's, that's, oh Prowse looks good though so far not not so much good on the receiving end of that one <laughs> but physically so far he, he, he I mean I know you've pinched your manhood here and there throughout your life yeah and but to have a a, a, a steel cable wrapped in Oof, uh, wrapped in cord deposited in your nether region just make sure we're oh. like oh Ed House grabbing the furniture. Ed House and Eddie Valentine, they, they don't wrestle. They just beat the life out of each other. They're outside the ring. Taboo's inside the ring with Crash Fantastic. And I'm just... I, I, referee off. I'm not... Counts to two. Magician just sort of... Admiring the handiwork, but I, I still wonder what else does he have in mind. I don't know, but I don't trust him. Now. I don't trust him either. I mean, I know the last time me and who was once Eric Weiser, now the magician, we last talked. I knew he was going through some stress here and there, but I just oh, Ed House. And that was the sound of a skull just smacking that ring apron. And that's the hardest part of the ring. Too. Hardest part of the ring. Indeed. We've been in and out of the ring. We've been in and out of the ring as far as doing interviews and things like that. So we know how hard it is. But to have a part of your body deposited off that ring apron. Oh. Oh, it has a big reversal. Yes! Oh! One, two, two, right. See, it's like refer finding out that referee Eric Weiser, now the magician, it's like finding out Santa Claus is real and then somebody killing him right in front of you. I, I just can't use Santa's any real. other analogy. I know Santa's real, but it would be like... Him physically standing in front of you, talking to him. Yes. And then all of a sudden, somebody just murders the spirit of Christmas right in front of you. It's like, you know it happened, but you just can't believe that it happened. Oh, uh, seeing Destiny in that outfit just brought the spirit of Christmas back to life. Brings other things back to life, but we won't mention that. No. And folks, I apologize about that. This is a family show. Ed House, or Eddie Valentine, Ed House with a reversal. Oh, referee Aubrey on Rose, Rose caught on that reversal. And he's still caught. Oh, and now it's even worse. And Ed House is not a small man. No. That was a great train. Yes, it was. Across. And he drove not only his body, but... Would it be considered a Valentine. crazy train at this point? That was indeed a crazy train, for sure. If I said it, I apologize now. I just figured I'd call it. Wait a minute. Yeah, I guess. Oh, choke slam. Wow. The unbelievable. The, 
Animalistic power from Ed House. Yeah, Johnny on the spot. Van Tassel never proved to you know clean break some stealth through his through his title run as champion. And he broke up that he oh Tiki Taboo Tiki Taboo sneaking in from behind. Van Tassel able to reverse it. Oh, hey. Oh! Referee Bruce Delaney is out. We are down two referees and three if you count the magician. We need another ref out here. The is the magician going to make a ref appear? No, Aubrey Rose coming back. And Ed... Eddie Valentine almost said Ed House. Eddie Valentine able to break up the count. This match. This is just carnage. Bodies are strewn. This is like a car wreck on I-83. Gosh, this There's many bodies just everywhere. Bodies everywhere and a lovely woman dressed as Santa. It's my <laughs> home on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Eddie Valentine first to his feet. And He's uh, calling for the sexiest move yeah, in professional wrestling. Giving him a little taste. Oh. Oh, he's got Bruce Van Tassel up. Got him in a backbreaker. Oh, no. Oh, to the back. Got him in a torture rack. Oh, Ed House sneaking in. Agony. Oh, that would have been clipping in the NFL on that on that knee strike right there. Ed House depositing Tiki Taboo outside the ring. Oh, that was a Going sick. after his former friend in Crash Van Tassel here. One, two, no, Tiki Ooh, Taboo. Tiki. Able to break up the, able to break up the uh, three count. Taboo. Tiki actually depositing Ed House outside the ring. And Ed House is injured. He fell on that solid floor and banged his shoulder and elbow of his left arm on the solid concrete floor. Wait a minute. Tiki Taboo, look at this. Tiki oh, Taboo's no. climbing to the top rope. Oh, oh my God. All out in one fell swoop. As Unbelievable. the magician is stalking this destiny. On, <laughs> Referee Bruce Delaney's finally coming to you. Aubrey Rose is still trying to. Referee Aubrey Rose is still trying to clear the cobwebs, so to speak. But Tiki Taboo with a suicidal dive off the top rope. Van Tassel crawling around trying to get his, his bearings back. Ed House is holding his left arm. Eddie Valentine's starting to come to. Solid floor, and he just body slammed Tiki Taboo. I've fallen on my back, like I said. No, not to Valentine. Oh! And he bounced. What is Valentine doing? Or uh, Crash Van Tassel. Look at this. Oh, oh my God. He dove over a fan to take out Ed House. Unbelievable. This truly is sacrifice. Sacrifice of, of life and limb. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Down to the ground. Ed House just backed by, gave a 
fantastic back body drop against the ropes and he falls onto the floor. I, oh my God. Wait a minute, Ed House is reaching underneath the ring for time. Yes indeed, he promised. He promised a table. Yes he did. He's making good on that He's promise. actually putting it in the ring. And it's not a plastic one this time. No. Oh, and a chair for good measure. Oh! Oh! Yeah, it works. Testing it out on cross. And oh! oh. Antique. And, oh, and my God. Downtown. Yeah, that chair works just fine. Mr. I don't Mouse. know if you ever do had done it when you were younger, but did you ever backyard wrestle when you were younger? Never. Okay. I well, then you I were never privy to an actual chair. I've actually had a chair shot back when I did, you know, when it's being dumb. Yeah. When they tell you not to do it at home. Well, I've had that happen. That doesn't feel too swift. No, I never did the backyard wrestling. Oh, solid headbutt from Ed House on Eddie Valentine. And another one. Oh, and he promised. He's putting Eddie, he's putting Eddie Valentine on the table. He promised to put him through one tonight. And I think he's losing sight uh, of the championship. And I think he's just wanting to destroy Eddie Valentine. To sort of get Look, watch the agility from this big man. What goes up has got to come down. Oh, Eddie Valentine's going to... Oh! Going to bring him down through the table. Oh. Uh. Two. Oh, oh Van Tassel able to save it. on the line and just give yeah. a little extra jolt to get across to break up that. And I wonder how much uh, Van Taz was thinking of the broken table from and last December. We, we've still got Tiki Taboo. Yes, we Don't do. Forget, who is, is quickly uh, getting his bearing straight behind Cross Van Taz. I didn't even see him sneak in the ring. No, he slithered. There it is. That super kick, I'm telling you, you've seen it before, I've seen it before. I'm calling it. He has the most devastating super kick in Valor history, period. Yeah, you, you don't need to have a super kick party with Cross Van Tassel because you just need one. He about took Tiki Taboo's head clean off. Ah, uh, just dragging his lifeless body to the center of the ring. One, two. Eddie Valentine able to save his championship on that exchange. Everyone is worse for wear so far here. Because they've all indeed sacrificed. And this title's up for grabs now. Yeah. Completely up for grabs. I I, I, I can't I, even I, call I, it at this point. I, I don't think anybody has a, a, a definite advantage at, at this point. It's the first one lucky enough for a mistake at this point. Yeah, it, it, it's going to come down to a mistake. It's Ross and Eddie. Valentine able to reverse it oh, missed off the, the ropes. Oh. Leg lariat. Come on, crash Van Tassel and Eddie Can Valentine. Cover. This would be the story. This would be one of those moments. Oh, he's going up top. This is one of those moments. Cross Van Tassel to the top rope. And, oh, and he misses. And he landed on that surgically repaired oh. back. Eddie Valentine luckily gets out of the way. And he's 
still unable to get up, but what did that take out of Crossman Taz? I'm not sure at this point. Oh. Tiki Taboo's on the floor. Not Ed that House far is on the floor. Surgery. On the other side of the ring. Eddie Valentine going for the sexiest move. No, no. Van Tassel able to reverse super it kick. into his super kick. He's got to get over there and try and make the move. Slowly, he's crawling he's over. He puts his arm over. One, one, two. 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 Oh. oh. Ooh. So close. That was a two count. A we, very close We almost two count. had the comeback story. Yes, we did, my friend. But you're still witnessing history here because, again, they told him he wouldn't wrestle again. Not only is he wrestling and competing, but he's hanging. Oh, there's, the see, there's that house. I I thought he was on the far side of the ring. But... No, he's still trying to make his way back into the ring. We've got Tiki Tamu. On the outside as well as the magician. Wait a minute, closing. look at this. Oh, triangle. Triangle choke by Eddie Valentine on oh. Craft Van Tassel. He's got it cinched. He's got it cinched. And but look at this. Look, look at Eddie Valentine's shoulders. They're on the mat. Yes. Nice. He's got that right shoulder up ever so slightly. If he just cranks down. If he cranks down, he's going to put him to sleep. Cross is not going to tap. Yeah, Cross isn't going to tap. He's... he's Tiki Taboo. And, and still your champ. Wow. Eddie Valentine. And my friends, you have just seen Cross Van Tassel's last match. Unbelievable. He put his career on the line. Yes, he did. Wow. Much respect to him for being able to return and to put forth such effort that he did. I thought he looked phenomenal, you know, especially on you know, search of the repair back. But just a standing ovation here for a legend. And also the, the efforts of, of Eddie Valentine to retain his title. He had to beat the best to, to hang on to this title. He put it on the line, and he was able to come out victorious. And still. Your heavyweight champion of valor. And he can honestly put it to his credit now. Not just the sexiest man, but the toughest man in Valor Pro Wrestling. He earned that title a long time ago, and he's just showed you why he is our champion. When you hold that belt, it means you're the very best. And with these men that he defeated in this bout, in essence, retiring, Cross Van Tassel? And just much respect here. Beautiful, beautiful moment between the two combatants. Not just sportsmanship, but just life. Almost a brotherly love at this point between these two guys. I just want to just let this sink in. 